pass the middle class pays through their nose for the airfare an all out political war has erupted congress's kc benugopal has retorted aviation minister jyotiraditya sindhya with fresh salvo on twitter terming it as government's hands off approach to regulating prices in the aviation sector Benugopal said that not a single go first flight out of Kannur airport in Kerala was replaced after the airline went bust. He claimed that 30% slots at the Pune airport are still vacant. Benugopal also hit out at the government over the high airfares right after the Balasore train tragedy and said that the government had failed to curb predatory pricing by the airlines. Earlier aviation minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya claimed that after the center's advisory airlines had dropped airfare prices from 14 to 60% since 6th June. And just to give you an idea of the high air prices if you are planning a trip from Amritsar to Srinagar the one way ticket may cost you up to 21000 to 31000. Meanwhile a one way trip to Delhi from Cochin may cost you between 18000 to 21000. not enough being done by the government is what you know people today are saying well uh, i saw the statement of a civil aviation ministry he said no that the man who said that people who wear hawai chappali should be in the hawai and now they are making it costlier than ever the uh, air fares were not so costly as as of now they have hiked the prices only to benefit the airlines Well there are several passengers and flyers who have been inconvenienced due to the high prices of the air tickets but all of them have been looking towards the government for the ticket prices to be regulated even as the government maintains that the intervention made by the aviation minister Mr Sindhya has led to a price drop anything between 14% to 60% but has it brought relief to the passengers to the flyers is the question the opposition parties are asking there has been an all out war of words that is being witnessed on the social media where Jyotiraditya Sindhya is taking on his a former colleague from the Congress party KC Venugopal on how the industry has seen a boom there have been several passengers who have uh, been able to use the airline services without any difficulty but the congress party maintains that the government has not been able to cap the prices of the tickets especially in calamity torn areas like manipur and orissa And our phone lines are open the numbers are flashing on your screens and right now I'm joined by a caller calling us in from Haryana uh, Mr Gurucharan thank you for taking your time and joining us here good afternoon please go ahead with your views Well we seem to have an audio issue over there with Mr Guru Charan but I'm also joined by my colleague Srushti who is getting us the ground report from uh, Mumbai right now well Srushti you know what the passengers and the flyers have been maintaining is that they understand that the airlines are private players but they do not have anybody else to look towards rather than the government to try and make an intervention and bring about some sense of uh, a ticket uh, capping of prices or the regulating of the ticket prices but what are the flyers on ground saying about it well uh, let's just straight go across to the flyers and to the you know uh, commuters who always uh, use uh, flights sir uh, can you tell us about the fact that the skyrocketing airfares are just a pinch in pocket what is your experience regarding it air ticket become very expensive expensive right now and aam aadmi isme travel karna matlab difficult ho gaya hai ट्रेन का टिकट मिलता नहीं है एयर टिकट एयर टिकट वेरी एक्सपेंसिव है तो अभी आदमी इधर से उधर जाए तो कैसे जाए आपको लगता है कि गवर्नमेंट ने कुछ कैप लगाना चाहिए एक टिकट का जो है लिमिट रहना चाहिए कि यहाँ से यहाँ तक जाना है तो इतने ही पैसे आप पे करना या फिर इससे ज्यादा टिकट नहीं बढ़नी चाहिए या फिर ये इसको गवर्नमेंट के अंडर अंडर कंट्रोल करना चाहिए गवर्नमेंट को अंडर कंट्रोल करना चाहिए इस पे कैप लगाना चाहिए पर्टिकुलर डेस्टिनेशन पे इतना टिकट होना चाहिए अदरवाइज तो सब एयरलाइन ने लूटमार मचा रखी है कोई कितना ही टिकट रहेगा आपको आज जाना है तो आपको बीस से पच्चीस फिर अमाउंट बढ़ते रहता है डायनेमिक रहता है तो इसपे एक कैब तो रहना रहना ही चाहिए मतलब 
आप लास्ट टाइम आपने कब एयरलाइन से ट्रैवल किया था और आपको याद है कि आपने कितना पे किया था लास्ट टाइम मैं दिल्ली गया था अराउंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड पेड किया था मैंने हाँ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फॉर दिल्ली मतलब मैंने एक दिन पहले टिकट निकाला था तो पंद्रह हजार का समथिंग आ रहा था लेकिन जाना अर्जेंट था तो पंद्रह हजार देना पड़ा लेकिन ऐसा दिल्ली का टिकट अराउंड थ्री थाउजेंड रहता है तो आई हैव गिवन फाइव टाउन टाइम फाइव टाइम सो यू नाउ डेफिनेटली फील दैट देर शुड बी सम कैब बाई गवर्नमेंट एज वेल होना ही चाहिए हंड्रेड परसेंट होना चाहिए इवन रेलवे टिकट में भी आजकल उन्होंने डायनामिक कर दिया लूटमार मचा रखी है तो कहीं ना कहीं कुछ न कुछ रेगुलेशन रूल एंड रेगुलेशन डाल के एयर टिकट पे कंट्रोल होना बहुत ही ज्यादा जरूरी है थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर कनेक्टिंग विद आई वन मोर पर्सन मैम वॉट डू यू थिंक अबाउट द स्काई रॉकेटिंग एयर फेयर विच हैज बीन इम्पोज यू नो बाई एयरलाइंस डू यू थिंक दैट देर शुड बी समैप रिगार्डिंग या एक्चुअली इट शुड बी इट्स वेरी वेरी हाई It's like we cannot plan uh, previously, na. It's like before four months, if you plan, then it's okay. Otherwise, you are paying three times, four times more what the fare is. Mm-hmm. So actually, it's like on their. उनकी मर्जी चल रही है अभी उनको जो fares लगाने वो लगा रहे हैं. आपको याद है last time आपने कौन सी flight board की थी और कितना pay किया था? Actually, I don't remember much. Okay, okay. But आपको ये but आपको जरूर लगता है कि कुछ cap होना चाहिए. होना चाहिए. कुछ होना चाहिए. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for connecting Thank with us. So these are the, you know, voices from Mumbai, which we are, which we are getting you on the ground. But definitely, war of words between the, uh, between uh, civil aviation minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya and K C Venugopal, Congress leader. We have seen that, you know, uh, uh, Congress is alleging that uh, the, you no know, profits has been taken out from the, from the pockets of commoners, wherein Jyotiraditya Sindhya is claiming that they have, you know, given certain guidelines to the, uh, uh, to the, you know, uh, airlines as well to, to cut down. on the ca- to cut down the prices on air tickets but people are not feeling that on ground is what we are you know reporting and what we are sensing on ground back to you right absolutely swasti thank you for getting us all those voices of the flyers and passengers who feel that there should be some sense of price capping that must be exercised by the airlines thank you for getting us those details and right now to discuss, take this discussion further i'm joined by our guests Uh, I'm joined by Mr. Binay Singh, who's a political analyst, and uh, I'm also joined by Arshpreet Karyal, who is a Congress spokesperson. Well, good afternoon, and uh, thank you for uh, joining us here at Mirror Now. But our phone lines are open right now; the numbers are flashing on your screen, and I will come to our guest right now. But let me first go across to the callers who are calling us in from Gurugao. I'm joined by Mr. Guru Charan. Mr. Guru Charan, good afternoon. Thank you for taking your time and joining us here at Mirror. Now, please go ahead and share your views. Well, we will try to reconnect with those callers. Our numbers are flashing on the screens right now. You can call us in as Mirror now relentlessly carries out the campaign on stop soaring airfares. We are going to be taking your voices, your question to the government and the authorities that be. But right now we have a guest joining us to discuss this further. I'm joined by Binay Singh, who is a political analyst. I'm also joined by Arshpreet Karyal, who is a Congress spokesperson. Uh, my first question to you would be, Mr. Binay Singh. that you know there have been this consistent demand we have been getting calls through the week throughout the days where all the passengers and flyers really want is a government intervention and it's not beyond the ambit of the government is what even several experts are telling us to try and get the some sense of uh, you know representatives from the airlines to come on board they can work in tandem and chalk out a strategy way by which they can cap prices the price capping is what is the demand of the flyers look when we look at the price case of the air fares there was no there, there was never a robust mechanism to you know cap the prices of the air fare it was never like that and i think yes the air prices in certain routes are very very high and the minister is already concerned about that i think the last week 5 days ago jyoti raditya sindhya he held a held a meeting with you know the uh, airlines and he told them to you know self regulate the 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 pricing so the minister is concerned about that and i think that yes there was a need and there is a need to put a cap or just not let them to be self regulatory kind of thing but to have a robust mechanism to cap the air fares and to regulate the air fares because you see uh, 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 but in this circumstance the we all know that the 
go air they have been grounded and there is extra load on the other airlines so it doesn't mean that the normal passenger will have to pay the fare of the uh, of, uh, because the go air is being uh, grounded so it's a is a concern of everyone of every flyer and i think the government is also very much concerned about that and the minister is too and 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 i think there there will be a, some way out or they will we will uh, surely uh, find a way out to to build up a very robust mechanism on regulating the air fares to cap the air fares it is need of the bar because so many you know airports have come up so many local airports have come up the number of flyers have gone high and it's not a matter of just the privilege the common men also they are also flying and they are they are also frequently flying so i think it's a it's a it's a matter of the common public it's not just a matter of the privilege and the government will step in the government is concerned about that the the news i am reading the indications we are getting i will have to interject you uh, over there mr binay singh hold that thought i'll come back to you as we have callers calling us in right now we have a caller calling us in from bengaluru uh, mr rohan is calling us yes mr rohan uh, good afternoon thank you for taking your time and joining us here at mirror now please go ahead and share your views yeah good afternoon good afternoon madam my point is i keep flying to delhi okay the fare fares are so high okay you have to plan at least uh, maybe a month or two months uh, prior to it but it's always not possible so just like i am just example that ola uber we use right while just <laughs> taking the you book it so it can't it be somewhat like that it would help every would a passenger also but with this modi government you cannot do anything i don't know what thank you where we get your point mr rohan thank you for calling us in and that is exactly the question that the passenger are, are raising over here mr binay saying you were making that point over there but you know nobody is discounting the hard work and the kind of effort that the government has put in to try and you know resurrect this entire industry whether it is the number of flights or for that matter the the airports but the fact remains that it has not really helped the common man and ease their uh, you know uh, anxiety and their uh, difficulty pertaining to the high air fare charges if there is a demand and supply mismatch then the government will have to step in mr karyal please go ahead and uh, share your views what do you think about it has the government done enough has the aviation minister's intervention helped the common flyer not at all the government hasn't done anything at all whatsoever which would have helped the commoners you know the middle class uh, and all the other people who are suffering the uh, prices are touching the ceiling skyrocketing and the government instead of admitting their mistake is saying oh there are other factors involved that's why the prices have gone up now does the bharti janata party government not know that every summer vacations the demand goes up it has been happening from the last so many years so this goes on to show how ignorant and negligent this government of the bhartiya janata party is number 2 they are accustomed to never admitting their mistake but hanging it around the neck of others number 3 it is this very government you know that i was expecting would also say given their history that it is not really the price that is going up it is the spending capacity of the people that is going down i was expecting the government would say it any day and it might as well come uh, in the near future number 5 is you see that the government had no remo reason no rational no logic as to why they had to lift the caps in august 2022 when our economy was in doldrums when it was in shambles they lifted the caps and instead of putting them back you know they they haven't done anything uh, number 6 is you see uh, there are two very important reasons as to why uh, the uh, prices are skyrocketing the first reason is very simple that the government has given a free pass to private players and uh, to the airlines to the private players and number 2 the privatization spree you know that has been happening uh, ever since this government came has contributed to this big problem of of you know price going up by 5 times 6 times 7 times and basically getting out of reach of the people uh, the government is saying that the go first has collapsed Uh, and and uh, there is another reason also spice jet happens to be very famous for you to complete right? that point that but you were making of course nobody is asking for the private players or the airlines to suffer a loss but all that we are maintaining is that while you make profit don't make it an extortion at the end of the consumer and the flyers my colleague is joining me right now ishika from new delhi we will get you the voices from on the ground as to what do they feel about the high prices of the fs the f 
warfare continue to sow here and we have been relentlessly covering on mirror now how it is at the moment pinching the pockets of the common man i have few people with me i like to go across to them so i want to know from you that the aviation minister says that he has given clear guidelines to the airlines after which from june 6 onwards there has been a reduction of 14 to 60% do you feel that on the ground sir where are you traveling from so i'm traveling from bangalore the absolute numbers do not say a decrease in the prices but i believe with the inflation the prices are at par so i don't think there's anything wrong because if i travel from delhi to bangalore via a first class rajdhani i'll be paying 6000 so that's something similar i'm playing in flights okay. and right now we also have some callers calling us in uh, uh, mr sunil mittal is calling us from gurugram yes mr mittal good afternoon thank you for calling us in please go ahead and share your views yes i am a senior citizen we had booked uh, uh, 10 of us had booked uh, tickets for lay through, through make my trip the entire trip was around 4 lakh rupees they had booked it through go air now the go air has been grounded now make my trip is saying either you book a trip on your own which is costing us another 3 lakh and we are not getting the uh, money back also that about 4 lakh now what do we do now air fares are almost equivalent to the entire trip this is the problem which is occurring uh, with the chaps who have already booked about 3 months in advance now we are stating you book uh, about 2 months later in august still we are not getting the tickets now this is this uh, problem with the uh, air fares at the moment well that's absolutely shocking mr mittal thank you for taking our time and sharing your ordeal over there and let me take that question across to uh, mr binay singh who still continues to be with us mr singh you heard what mr mittal was saying he is a senior citizen he had booked tickets for le some 10 of them 3 months ago at go air and now of course they're not even being refunded they've been asked to pay a lot more it's equivalent to the entire cost of the trip many of these tickets are more expensive the domestic tickets are more expensive than to take an international flight uh given the situation binay singh do you think the government somewhere has not been able to bring about respite to the passengers even as uh, the aviation minister has held several rounds of meetings with the representatives of various airlines and urged upon them to bring about the prices within rational limit but there is still no respite for the common man you know the tragedy of go air you know we we all know that the government has nothing to do with that the government is not the one who is booking the tickets so it's totally responsibility of the go air and yes the, there there are several cases reported that they have you know <sighs> there are anomalies or there are difficulties in give, the, getting the refunds so i that i think it's not fair to blame the government on that and the second thing we heard two of our callers so one we just heard about the bangalore route the fare was uh, 6000 rupees i think it is generally 4500 to 6000 it's a, it's a normal uh, price of the tickets but yes in some routes there the the tickets prices are very high in some routes in in very very few routes and that is because again so many reasons vacations are there i will have to interject as we have another caller right now but let me tell you end. on a daily basis we here at mirror now have been monitoring the websites of various airlines to try and bring to you the prices of a given day and trust me when we are saying this sir with data and facts in place at most of these airlines their prices are above 20000 rupees in many of the air routes right now i'm joined by a caller calling us in from kolkata mr acharya good Good afternoon. Thank you for calling us, and please go ahead and share your views. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. <clears throat> uh, these airlines, uh, like Indigo, Spice, you had, they were. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, Mr. Please Acharya. Please go ahead and continue. Do you listen to me? Good afternoon. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, please continue. Do you, to, do, you, do you listen to me? Okay, 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 okay. Now these airlines. Yes, Mr. Acharya, uh, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay, there's Indigo and SpiceJet. I mean, these the airlines. 
Initially, they were launched as a low-cost airline, keeping in mind the middle class who can afford air travel at a low cost. That was the objective. Now, these airlines have become so expensive. Mainly, I think it's because they, they, this particular sector is not a regulated. This is a non-regulated sector. And these, these people, these, these companies, the Spice and uh, Indigo, etc., they are uh, doing the with their whims and fancies. I think Mr. Jyotirindra Sindhya is working very hard, must be working very hard, but I think he should work harder uh, to put a less uh, on, on, on the neck of these airlines. I think they should be brought to book, and uh, the middle class uh, family they should breathe a little easily. Thank you. Well, absolutely. Thank you so much for calling us here, Mr. Acharya. Let me also go across to my colleague, Srushti, who's joining me right now with a few flyers and passengers on ground. Yes, Srushti, take us through what exactly is the sentiment that is there with the flyers? What do they feel? Has there been any relief that they feel has been brought about by the government intervention? Well, definitely, let's just straightly go across and talk to them. Sir, what do you think air ticket cost is much bigger than the government? The government has said that they have a cap for 16 to 60 percent. They are saying that we have tried to implement it and the prices have reduced. But do you think that the prices have reduced? No, no. We don't think anything like that. Day by day, prices are increasing. In case of emergency, if we have to go outside, we can't get the train ticket and we can see the flights, so the price is skyrocketing. If we have to go to Delhi, we have to pay so much that no common man can afford it. So the government should implement some policy. They should keep a cap that the maximum ticket should be so much. Or prices should reduce. They should give some concession. How do you think you are watching this dynamics? Where the air ticket cost is much more. The other thing is that you have mentioned that the train ticket is not getting the train. And the concept of airlines is always that in one or two hours, in one point or another point, the whole country will reach the entire country. If the ticket is so much, then how is this problematic situation for today's common man? And for the person who wants to travel from the emergency? Yes, this is... The problem is that if someone has to go to an emergency, they can't go to an emergency. Because the cost is so much for the ticket that they don't have any option. There are no trains and no means of transport. If someone has to go to a long distance, they should have to do something to the government. They should have to pay attention to the tickets and fares so that we can travel anywhere far away from somewhere else. Sir, tell me, do you remember when you booked the last ticket and what were its prices? Yes, I was in Delhi last time. There was also a street of 8,000 or 9,000. I was going to work on some work. So, the government should take some initiative. The government should be privatized. The government should control it. The government should be privatized. Do you think that the whole system of airlines is that from one to another point, the person who is a commuter can travel quickly. The tickets, as your friend has mentioned, are not getting any of the railway. The main thing is that if a commuter has to go to emergency services, if a commuter has to go to the ticket of 15,000 or 20,000, or for that given matter, 10,000 to 12,000, it is not affordable for people. So, there is a lot of problems for people. हाँ वही है कि जो इतने प्राइसेस इंक्रीज हो रहे हैं तो गवर्नमेंट ने थोड़ा कंट्रोल लाना चाहिए या फिर गवर्नमेंट को सब्सिडी देना चाहिए एयरलाइंस वालों को कि प्राइसेस कुछ कंट्रोल करें या फिर कुछ कैप या फिर कुछ कैप रखना चाहिए कि इस लिमिट के ऊपर प्राइस जाना नहीं चाहिए ऐसा तो यही सब सर आप आप एक बताइए कि आपने लास्ट टाइम कब टिकट बुक की थी और क्या कॉस्ट थी आपको अगर याद मैंने अभी मुंबई टू इंदौर की टिकट बुक की थी और मेरी अप्रोक्स 5000 थी प्राइस फेयर जबकि इतना होता नहीं है इतना होना नहीं नहीं चाहिए फेयर जो है जो कि 2.523 के ये नॉर्मल है इतना ही होना चाहिए तो हाँ बस यही हम जब भी टिकट बुक करते हैं प्राइसेस हमें हर बार हाई मिलते हैं कभी भी कम प्राइस नहीं मिलते टिकट की 
डे टू डे हम चेक करते हैं तो और दिवाली के वक्त भी हमने देखा था जो टीयर टू सिटीज थी उसके भी कॉस्टिंग काफी बढ़ गए थे अठारह हजार भी कहीं ना कहीं देखने मिल रहे थे आपने जैसे बताया आप इंदौर आपका होम टाउन है इंदौर तो वैसे ही इंदौर आप फ्रीक्वेंटली जाते हो गए कितना आपको लगता है जैसे इस बार फाइव था मे भी दिवाली के वक्त ज्यादा हो आपने क्या एक रेंज देखी है जिसमें प्राइस रहे जब मैं दिवाली के टाइम भी देख रहा था तो मैंने देखा था कि टिकट के प्राइस फोर्टीन के टच कर चुके थे और उस टाइम भी लाइक कुछ मिल ही नहीं रहता दिवाली के वन वीक पहले से मैं चेक कर रहा था तो टेन थाउजेंड से कम में कुछ नहीं मिल रहा था तो कुछ पॉसिबल ही नहीं हो पा रहा था और ट्रेन होती नहीं है तो यहाँ से वहाँ जाना हमारे लिए पॉसिबल ही नहीं हो पाता है उस केस में तो सभी मतलब बेंगलुरु Well, we'll try to reconnect with Raghu, but we, in the meanwhile, we also have Mr. Hari Kumar joining us in from Vadodara. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for calling us in. Please go ahead and share your views. Well, we'll try to reconnect. We're facing some audio uh, connection issue with Mr. Hari Kumar. In the meanwhile, let me go across to my colleague Dharani, who's joining me right now from Chennai. Well, Dharani, we have been listening to the several audios and experiences that have left a very sour taste with the flyers and the passengers. Even though the government maintains that there has been 14 to 60 percent drop in the air ticket prices. but that is clearly not reflecting as far as the ticket prices are concerned because the passengers are still maintain that uh, the tickets are at an all time high price well definitely we have been covering uh, the story for weeks now definitely and uh, i I've, i've spoken to several passengers who are traveling to and from chennai and they are telling that you know despite the government this efforts you know that despite meeting after meeting uh, the reduction is not uh, satisfying as what uh, the people are telling in fact right now i'm being joined by a citizen here from chennai ma'am you know we're given to understand that in the last one one and a half months the uh, prices of air tickets has you know arise and has you know soared up so uh, have you experienced anything of that sort yourself and what do you think the government should do because they are trying they are holding meeting after meetings but then uh, you know in the ground uh, the uh, the result doesn't seem to be very satisfying well actually i do agree with that because i am a very frequent traveler for work or for recreation purpose i keep traveling and uh, just recently last week i booked a flight from bangalore to chennai like both ways but the prices were exorbitantly high which was not never the case in the past few years especially post covid the flight fares have increased quite a bit and we were always waiting like i think all of us were just waiting for the prices to become stagnant but that never happened so that's very astounding secondly i think even if we are modifying uh, some of our uh, travel plans like uh, um, cancellations or something change change of itinerary that is causing a huge uh, amount of change like just bangalore to chennai is like a one hour duration but it the up and down is costing more than 10 12 uh, if it's a last minute booking which i am sure many people would have like last minute booking for work or for anything else but costing a lot is charging a bomb so i don't think there has been any change in the prices of uh, costs like air flights or anything it is only kept increasing and it's it's making the end consumer uh, you know suffer especially the people from the uh, up, uh, lower middle class middle class and you know the upper middle class sections yeah, yeah absolutely like all economy fares are it's not even becoming stable it's only and only increasing and with other facilities and services it only gets higher so i don't think there is any change in it it's just increasing something should be done about it of course it will right. become very difficult for the middle class people to travel Adharani, through there i will have to interject you over there as we getting some callers at this point in time i will come back to you to hear the further the voices of the people over there in chennai and what they feel but right now i am joined by a caller calling us in from new delhi mr vr pai is calling us from new delhi uh, good afternoon mr pai thank you for calling us in please go ahead and share your views See what I would like to say is that uh, everybody is complaining about the the 
price hike, uh, air air price hike. But somebody from the ministry or even some research group from your own, uh, you know, agency, Mirror Now, should actually calculate what comprises of the fare, like there's a fuel cost, there's an aircraft rental cost, and uh, things like that. So if we come to a cost and we add a certain margin to it, that will bring the price, you know, the real price, what should be charged. So this is something what has to be done in order to be sure that exorbitant fares are not charged and it should not be a kind of you know unjust enrichment for, for the airlines concerned. So it is not a difficult exercise. It has to be done so that the common man does not suffer. So I think perhaps uh, maybe this is something which you can you can um, uh, put uh, request the government to do. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Pai, for suggesting that. Uh, we shall keep that in mind and also try to uh, convey that to the authorities that be. But I'm also joined by another caller calling us in from Bengaluru. Mr. Raghu is calling us in from Bengaluru. Mr. Raghu, thank you for calling us in. Uh, please go ahead and share your views. See, this is, um, I, I, I was listening to this other passenger's uh, concern and he was uh, giving a solution. But what I feel is the aviation ministry, along with all the airlines, they are hand in glove and they have removed the cap for mutual uh, uh, benefits. This is what I believe. And uh, the customer, the passengers are getting affected by that. So they have to not do all these things and do all this drama. Do straight away whatever is there, whatever is like uh, um, cost of that, and come to a conclusion and st stop all this nonsense and put a cap. They are having complicity uh, with the uh, airlines and the aviation ministry, Jyoti Raditya India. Straight away, I will tell you. Thank you so much, Mr. Raghu, for calling us in. And let me go back to my colleague, Dharani, who still continues to be with us. She's speaking to the people over there who are also certain people who take flights very frequently. Uh, Dharani, take us through the sentiment of the people on ground over there. What do they feel about the high prices? Would they want some sense of a price capping for the airfare tickets? Uh, the people that we are trying to talk to are, you know, office goers who are working in, you know, mostly in private rooms and they are, uh, you know, frequent travellers too. They have to uh, go to different states and countries on a regular basis. In fact, uh, uh, the uh, woman that I spoke to earlier, she also mentioned that she is a frequent traveller because of work. And just like that, I have another person here standing. Uh, sir, in the past one, one and a half months, we are given to understand that there has been, a, you know, a, a steep rise in the, you know, airfare prices. And have you experienced anything of that sort personally from your side? And why do you think this is happening? and what should the government do? See, this, is a, this has become a serious thing uh, for the past one and a half months, as she told. So this has become a hot topic. This is really a concern for the middle class people because now nobody travels in trains. And uh, even tra getting a travel tra ticket travel and train ticket is very tough, very tough. And even emergency also, you can't get it. So, of, of course, the middle class people will, choose, will go in for a air travel. So this is a basic thing. So they have to reduce the price. And due to, I have experienced last month because my, I have to take my nani to Mumbai. So I very frequently I travel to Mumbai because I have relatives there. I have mama, I mean my uncle is there. So we we travel a lot. So uh, this costed me, this costed me pretty heavily uh, last month. So I like I shell out money about like for two people I shell out twelve thousand rupees. It's a big money. So twelve thousand is not a big thing. So it's, I mean sorry, it's a, it's a it's a very uh, costly affair. So this has to be reduced. The one more thing, see, there is one more airline which has gone. Uh, that is a go first. So this has been uh, the bankrupt and uh, it's come. So that is also a major factor. But anyway, the government has to come come to a kind of negotiations. So they have to set right the rates. They should know the level because uh, the, the, the traveling is... talking about a cap, a price cap kind of thing. Yeah, the price cap is must because people have been traveling a lot. Uh, like lockdown, we have we lost the business. Now business is coming, coming up. So now we are in the business mood. Now we are in the economy mood. So the traveling is must so that only tourism will de get developed. Because there are, we have many countries, India is a booming thing, booming economy. So all the entire uh, people are pouring or investing money in India. So India is a developing, it's a de already, already it has developed. So many businesses are pouring in. So this, when you uh, fix the capping, so the, uh, the, you love the, the, the flight uh, company will also produce more results, more profits. So, so they have to think. So it's a, it's a major thing to... Uh, look at this issue. It's very, 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 very,
all right so he is telling us that you know not only for personal purposes but also for uh, for the reasons of economy because a uh, post covid uh, you know in the last couple of years only businesses have started to thrive in the uh, country so uh, at this time if the uh, air fare prices are going to go high consistently then that is going to cause uh, you know uh, you know uh, uh, mark on the economy too is what he is telling so uh, he is also experienced something personally from his well, side well it's an absolute Mumbai, pocket so pinch for the uh, common uh, man for the flyers who have been uh, uh, trying to say that air fares and the airline ticket prices are something that they cannot afford if it's a case of emergency or they plan a short trip in a short notice but right now we also have certain callers calling us in we have mr srinivasan calling us in from chennai mr srinivasan thank you for taking your time and calling us here at mirror now please go ahead and share your views plan if you plan a bit Nagpur. I recently went to Nagpur. Eight, eight. I went and the tenth I came back. While going, I paid only six thousand rupees per ticket. But while coming back, it was only three thousand rupees per ticket. It all depends upon how much people are coming and how, how much is the uh, one. We are having a difficulty trying to hear you, Mr. Srinivasan. Uh, regret we will have to disconnect that line over there. But do call us in. The numbers are flashing on your screen. And we are going to be hearing you out, your ordeal and your experience. Let me also go across to Mr. Ramasubramaniam, who is calling us in from uh, Tirunelveli. Mr. Ramasubramaniam, thank you for calling us in. Please uh, go ahead and share your views. Yeah, good morning, madam. See, actually, I feel uh, my earlier call has also told one thing. The civil aviation industry may be complicit with the corporate uh, airlines, and this is more of the corporate greed and the profiteering uh, mind of the corporates, which are charging heavily for the consumers. Yeah, the ultimate the aim of the government is to benefit the consumers. Of course, the airlines should get profit, but if you are going to jack up the price like anything, uh, we won't be surprised. One or one or two airlines also will be grounded, like Go Air. So only uh, if you have more volumes by reducing prices, you'll get more volume. Aim of uh, making the airlines easier was to enable people and rural people, I mean, living in uh, tier two, tier three cities and villages, to travel to faraway places. So that the tourism industry is also benefited. Uh, actually, they are, in fact, they upside down. They are doing everything. The policy is not implemented. Ministers uh, doesn't know what is happening in this industry, and uh, they are more bothered about politics than running the ministry. That is a pain, actually. That they should rectify it. Uh, otherwise, I, I doubt very much whether uh, the. Will be the next airlines to bite the dust in India. It's going to happen sooner or later. Thanks. 